Nduba Health Center, the medical staff go about their normal work, but it is clear that some of them do not have protective gear. Basic material is readily available, but sometimes the staff may not wear them voluntarily or depending on the nature of the service in question. But the principle is that the wearing of this gear is required for certain services. Apart from hospitals where the danger of contamination is not clearly visible, there are certain professions where the risk is much more manifested. This is the case of carpentry workshops, where dust can easily affect even a passerby. However, those who carry out their activities in these workshops in their daily life are not aware of the risk that awaits them. We are already used to this profession that we have been practicing for a long time. We believe that these trees we work with cannot harm our health. Anyone who is not used to it can be embarrassed. But for us, there is no problem. Even the trees we work on is used to get the medicine. Isn't it true? Well then, how can this make us sick? Even if these carpenters underestimate the risk of contracting diseases, the Ministry of Health advises rather to think about protective gear because the consequences can occur at any time. Sometimes people can expose to dirt and even touch dirty objects without protection. They can eat without washing their hands first and thus expose themselves to infections without forgetting chronic diseases. Someone can suffer from TB. That's just one example. Research from the 2016 World Health Organization shows that more than 3 million people die from respiratory diseases each year. The same research indicates that in 2016 in Rwanda, around 2,200 human lives were lost for the same reason.